We're going to create a project in LLBL Gen Pro, basically our DAL for our project, and we'll show you how to create a project in LLBL Gen Pro, as well as implement it, your DAL, in Visual Studio 2008. So the first thing we want to do is hit File, New Project. For this, we're going to call it the BV DAL, created by me. And then for us, we always put it in our working folder, CM3 working folder, LGEN Pro, LGEN. We're going to use SQL Server, which is right here. Now we're going to add the server information, the database information, and we're going to select the database. We filled in our information and created and clicked Create, which is basically our SQL connection string to the SQL Server, and we selected our SQL server database for our project. The next thing we're going to do is add entities to the project which are basically the tables. Add our tables then we select add to project and now all the tables are now part of the project. Now we'll also add all of our stored procedures to it. Both action and retrieval stored procedures add to project and that's it the next part is we got to now create the DAL what we need to do is click select project then generate and now we always do the root namespace for us is whatever the project name is DAL for us we're using the dotnet 3.5 framework and for the location we always put it whatever is your project folder so that's the folder that ha that contains your BRL and your web anything that relates to the project but for this example we're just going to put the code in this folder and for the template group we select self-servicing then we click start generator and now it's running creating all the things and here are the results. So now we click Save. And now let's move on to Visual Studio 2008. Now that we have Visual Studio open up, let's add the DAL to our project. We're going to right click, add existing project. We'll go look for our DAL that we created. There it is. We collect, select here, the project file. Uh, this is just because we're in source control. And then now the DAL is part of our project. Now what we always do is we never touch, as a developer, you never touch the DAL. You do all of your code in the BRL. And I'll show you how we do make the connection. So first thing we'd, I do as I select the entity class. Well, first, before that, I want to add a reference to the DAL in my BRL. So now, basically, they're talking to each other. Then I create a folder called entity class. And then in this instance, I'll just create a class called BVC product. And now from here, I always make it public. And then I inherit the DAL to the BRL. There's our IntelliSense telling us about the DAL. And then I will do that. And now this DAL is now part of our BRL. And then in here, in the BRL, that's where we would write our own custom code and reference things that LGEM Pro gives us.